say something. What should I say? It's a good morning. Feels like morning. Could be morning soon. Well, it's four in the morning. We're finally on the road to Colorado. Still got about eleven and a half hours left. Well, it doesn't feel like it's been a year since we've been out here. We're getting closer, we got about two and a half hours to go. Only thing different about this year, I'm packing around a mule deer tag instead of an elk tag. Gonna miss not chasing elk, I really do enjoy them, but I am pumped about the mule deer, so hopefully they're waiting for me because I'm ready for them. Big Colorado Hayden. I think it's pretty cool. Excited to walk around. Try to make you boys tired. So we'll try and put this tent together. And you know it looks pretty complicated. So we're looking for the instructions. And they give us one picture. We have one picture to put this together with. And about 93 poles. I think we can do it though. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, they're over here. Tyson, there's the door. He's sitting right here. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I was really confused. Hey, dickhead. Yeah, I just figured we'd wait until my alarm. I, figured, I didn't think your alarm went off because I woke up and my watch was at like 4.37. Good morning, Tyson. Morning. Did you good, buddy? Yeah, I would have slept better for another 15 minutes. But someone was shaking me. Start walking in. We probably got about 100 yards from the truck. I spotted an elk up on the hill there. They're still up there. Of course, when you don't got an elk tag, the elk are everywhere. But when you got a mule deer tag, it seems like the mule deer are gone. So that's the way it works. We'll find the mule deer.
Oh, so wedded. super late but we've had a lot of activity this morning we've been in bulls and cows and came up on a good group of mule deer there's four of them and two really two really big bucks they're at 60 yards just couldn't get it done we've been watching them and watching them and we lost them down here in this valley so we're just set up and waiting to see if they'll pop up because this oak brush if they lay down in it or even if they're just feeding in it you can't see them so they could be down here we just don't know yet, so we're gonna wait them out for a little bit. Philadelphia. You said, boy, there ain't no real point in helping you. That's where they started, to the left of that. And see that lone, kind of lone cedar there? Or I guess there's two of them. That's where they were when I first looked at them. But I don't know where they, they were. They moved a lot farther right, though. Did they? Did they get on the other side of the sea? Yeah. Really? We spotted from about three miles away. Got a lot of elevation to climb. We probably got about another thousand, a little less than a thousand feet to climb that we know of. There could be more, but we're slowly working up there and hopefully by the time we get up there, they're still there. They're gonna be in the area regardless, but whether they're still bedding in the same spot, only God knows. So we'll see what happens. God's plan. Views are beautiful, but walk sucks. So we'll see. She'd move. Oh,
And it's quick with a joke Or to light up your smoke But there's some place that he left Well, it's day two We're hiking Again So, buck that I saw was more to the left. There's definitely more behind him. Yeah. He keeps looking hard. Yeah, that's where the other buck was. Oh, four, bro. Where is he? We haven't seen him yet. Where's the wind at? Everybody, about to pack out some meat. In about 15 minutes, maybe a little longer. It's going down, buddy. Anybody need some chapstick? Sure don't. doesn't zoom in that far. I just his his frame's good. That's all I need to see. I 
Jason went in after him while we stayed here and watched for anything moving across here. He did end up getting on him, but it's been a good morning so far. It's cold. Hopefully we see some more deer, get on some more big bucks. All right, so it is the evening of day three and um, Tyson and Hayden and Jerry went out hunting on this other spot and I don't feel too good tonight. So I decided to come up here to the spot we were at this morning. It overlooks this big, big old field and um, just kind of scout. So I figured that's, you know, I could the walk wasn't too hard and I figured I could do that while those guys were out hunting. So we'll see, hoping to see a few animals. Um, I did hear an elk bugle down this way. Now, whether that be, you know, an actual elk or a person, um, I'm not sure, but it was pretty far. So, it was for sure an elk bugle, whoever it was or whatever it was. So. So the elk have came into the field. I looked over about 30 minutes ago. I saw a couple elk standing by there. Now there's 23 in the field. One of them's a good bull. So um, I might have to send uh, Jerry or Zach up here tomorrow or tomorrow night. But uh, this is pretty. It's pretty cool to see. So that, that's pretty. Zipper is all messed up and it's hard to zip up and down. Dad, last night was a lot of zipping. Jerry and I just came up the hill to where it was last night and saw the elk. And there's a bunch of elk still in the field, so um, Jerry's gonna kind of slip around here and see what he can see. They are on the complete opposite side of the field, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that, but I'm gonna stay up here top and I'm gonna watch him. Kind of see what Jerry does. And, uh, see where we can go from there. So. Jerry went in after that herd of elk, and I was able to see the bull for a little while. He was just out there kind of feeding around behind all the cows. A couple of the cows stayed out kind of in the field for a while, um, and Jerry should have been able to get pretty close to them, I'm not sure, but uh, I've watched them for a while, and none of them ever got stuck with an arrow, so um, they kind of worked their way off into the woods. I can't see them now. One young mule deer come through, little buck and besides that I haven't seen anything else so um but I love this spot it's a pretty cool pretty cool spot so uh Tyson and Hayden are out uh they took the truck and I don't I don't know where they planned on going but uh I know they had some good ideas in mind so hopefully that's going well for them pretty good start to day four
made it back to the truck. The uh, storm, as you can see, showed up, so I didn't want to get caught out in it, and there's really no point in getting caught out in it, so when you're out here camping and stuff and being wet, and it's not good. We'll see how good I judged it, how, how long it takes to rain, but uh, yeah, you can see behind me. Just beautiful out here, so besides the, the storm. Looks like from here, it's I can see a couple of people. Yeah, well, that one. Yeah. Oh my god. You think you can carry him or you won't make it? I can try. I want to try. That's hard. It's really hard. I think it's pretty cool. It's been it's been a lot of days hunting. A lot of arrows lost. Finally paid off. Finally got one.